Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey. Today we are playing Dinkum and we are working on part two of the museum bill. So where we left off last time, we kind of created the, the main layout. So now we are continuing. Uh, the first thing we are using is the dirt printer. First thing in the morning, we want to use as much as the battery as we can. So we're going to start filling up uh, the areas. Uh, as I spoke on the last video, we are any, everything that we are doing on the right side, we are going to duplicate it on the left side. So if we remember on the, on the previous video, I talked about how I, I, I been seeing some of the pictures of real museums in, uh, and taking inspirations from that. And, uh, and I saw how they had sections uh, of grass sections and then you got the sidewalks and men all around them. So that was the, my, the first thing that I wanted to try in this video. So I went ahead and took off all the brick path out and I was putting all the, all the grass and putting the fountains back on them. And to be honest, I did not love it. There was something that it just, it wasn't flowing with me. I was not enjoying the way it was looking. And, and I left it, I left it for, for a little bit. So uh, just a heads up, I ended up changing it. Okay, so off camera because I, I was doing some resource grinding and uh, and just doing measurements and all that. I noticed that I was off. So when I was going to place the museum in the back, it was not going to be centered to the to the front of the riverbank. So I did have to extend it by one more uh, square on the left side. So if you look at the previous video, you're gonna you're gonna notice that the riverbank is just one square wider. That way, I have equal uh, uh, side distance. And then when I was gonna work on my museum area on the back, that you guys are gonna see it, and I'm very excited. I is I'm very excited about the the way the museum is, is gonna be turning out. So this is another idea I had. Uh, since I I wasn't liking the grass, I was like, what about if I surrender? with uh, the brick flower boxes see how that looks and and then if you put flowers or bushes or uh, anything in there and see how that, that will look and the more I looked at it the more it just it didn't, it didn't work out for me again uh, but this is this is why I play the game I play the game because I love designing and I love the challenge I love the the way we have to be more creative uh, to use items and not just to compromise. So I went ahead and I knew I knew I didn't like anything the way it was coming out. So I went ahead and put the brick and, you know, I walk around, look at it from far away. And I did start to to like it more with the brick on the bottom. I think it, it just it made more sense for me. Uh, of course, like always, like I always tell you guys, if you like it with the grass because it's, it's everybody's taste so if you like it with the grass you like it with another type of pathing uh, the idea and the layout is there and you you fill it up the way you want to so okay so what we're doing here is I, I'm taking inspiration to I believe was one uh, a museum entrance in real life and a lot of the museum have this type of entrance you got the stairs and then you got like a little platform, more stairs, a little platform, and more stairs leading to the museum. So that was the first thing uh, I knew I wanted to work on, and I wanted to create that layout. So right here we are we're measuring. The only uh, <laughs> I wish I had more space, even though we have such a big map, um, big map in Dinkum. Since I originally was gonna do the mining area here, but then I started changing my mind. And then I had this idea to create the museum right here. I couldn't go as back as far as I wanted. So I can either break the riverbank in the front and push it back and, and get more steps that way or make the platforms that I'm working on right now one square or two square less. 
and that's what I decided to do. I decided I'm, I'm gonna leave the river bank the way I have it. I made sure exactly what I wanted. I didn't have to break any of my tree line and bushes that's connecting to the river bank. So that so so that was great. So so yeah. So right here we're making the final, I believe, and I I got everything on the control. I got everything exactly the way it's gonna fit, and it's great. And I went ahead and placed it down. And guess what? I did a mistake and I will I will realize that once we go to the next day I forgot to put the cement path underneath the the museum so when we go to the next day and I come back it's like oh no I messed up I I forgot that I needed I was so excited I, I got the measurements right and you know it shows green you're like yes place it down and so yeah so, so we are gonna fix that. We are, we end up going to Fletch. We are gonna end up moving the museum one more time, so we can then put the cement path, and then we're gonna go back and and then bring the museum back. And I like how from right here the view from the back, how you see the riverbank, how you see the greenhouse, just everything is looking so so sharp, and the design is coming out more and more, and the islands coming out more together. And the more I'm working on this left side of the island, it really wants to make me retweak the right side of the island just a little bit more. Because the more we play, the more we improve, the more we are uh, understanding the mechanics of the game and the items that we are getting and how creative we can be, the more ideas we start having. Okay, so right now what you guys saw on the back uh, right there I made like a dirt wall the idea is I'm gonna make two cement wall high the highest levels I could go and it's kind of gonna it's kind of you got the building and bam two two cement walls on the side and and then we're gonna be working on a on a specific way that we're gonna on the side of, of the museum we're gonna be working on three different platforms coming down in different level and and that was cool the the way it came out the way i i enjoyed it and here is when i realized it and i was like oh no and of course you can't place it down because even if i could just place it down on the very front i, I would be fine i don't i since i knew i was gonna hide everything around it but it won't let you so we are definitely gonna be moving the museum so we can go ahead and do it right and then bring the museum back okay so right now right here um i'm just making the three platform that i that i want to make uh um i was gonna see how it would look if i did i did one more high but i changed my mind and we're gonna go up with the three levels that we got uh right over here uh putting some of the dirt away uh, instead of using the compactor because i had to fill that side up anyway so and and one of the pictures of the reference that I'm, that I'm using, they had like a three-tier waterfall, you know, com coming down uh, on, on the side of the museum. But we, we can't do waterfall and we don't have any other type of fountain besides this one. That, hey, James, if you are by any chance, you ever see these videos, and you are listening hey more fountains different style different colors or give us the option so that we can kind of uh, change the color change the instead of being brave make it cement make it white make it just different even if it's the same fountain but we can have it in different color styles so we can break more and be more creative but yeah, uh, since we didn't have any form to add any other type of water, I was thinking, what about if I use the water fountain? And there's been such great comments how people use this water fountain. Somebody left me an amazing comment that they use the water fountain and then, you know, they, they're sinking down in the ground and they put flowers around there and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I like that idea and I can do that and make it feel like it's embedded in the... In the stone and trying to see how to explain it it's just like it's embedded because uh, at one point we're gonna see all this is gonna be 
put with cement and then it's look it's gonna look like platforms and then and 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 once we get to that point it's gonna make more sense what we're trying to do and of course every time i do something i go back look at it from far away and then um see how i like it see if, if everything is you know moving or being in tears the way that looks that looks right that that in my eye in my vision it doesn't look off so we know that we everything that we're doing on the left side we're gonna duplicate it on the right side so right so we are slowly gonna be feeling more and more of that area so we can so we can start slowly uh, duplicating uh, so the next idea I had okay so before I thought I was gonna put cement on top of all of this like what about if I put uh, the flower bricks so that way there's a lot of flowers like you, you see the water and you got uh, and then you got like flowers and, and grass or the, the bushes and but it was hiding too much of the water fountain like sometimes you could barely see the water coming up so that idea got discarded very quickly it just I was like no it just I, as soon as I put it and I fill up the next level up I was like no it's not gonna look good so I'm gonna look at well most of the museums on the side is all cement it's just different type of cement but since we only got one type right now I had to use the same one so the goal would be that once all of this is set up is how I'm gonna decorate it in such a way that it breaks a little bit of the cement but I don't want it to be too over decorated now so I want it to feel like it's par and connected to the museum but once I did this it looks so good I was like that looks good and in my eyes and in in my in my vision and using my reference uh, like I said in previous video I'm using I'm using three reference pictures to create this design uh, I got one that's the front of the museum I got one that is like the front of the museum like like the yard like the patios or the or the path and then I got another one like how some museum got trees and and stuff like that and I'm trying to combine those three pictures to create something in the income of with the items that we have so so you saw I went to flesh and I've kind of skipped part of it because it's just a lot of talking to flesh and I just want to get the 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 deed so we can move the the museum okay so right here I'm starting to measure and make and to make sure that I have the the same amount of space on the on the left side that I have on the on the right side uh, and having the tree where, where it needs to go putting bushes so right now I'm putting a little more greenery I want I wanted to see how the layout is gonna start looking uh, had idea oh maybe I can use the brick boxes here did not like it so here we go we're just taking it out This is one of my favorite uh, items to use. It's just the normal bush. And uh, and like a lot of you, I wish we can just put grass right underneath it. That way we can hide the dirt. But right now we still can't. So maybe in a future update, we get lucky and they add that for us so we can be more happy. Because yeah, I, I can plant the grass and wait for rain. And I think it's the tropical grass that makes that bush grow and then you can have it naturally and then we'll have grass underneath it and have the bush but sometimes it just takes forever for that to happen if it's no more grass and you gotta mow it and wait for rain again and and that takes forever so so i'm still planting them because i i need to see the vision i need to see how that that's gonna work out so here we are again we are uh the dirt printer got charged so we are gonna start filling up this area once again And I'm still in love with the dirt printer. I, I, it's just such an amazing tool uh, to create everything that we're creating because right now we're creating multi-level inside the area. It's not just oh, just to make a tier, but you know, to make the different tiers that we're using for the museum. And right now, 
I just keep ima imagining when we, I used to do this all by shovel and and how long it would take and and sometimes you could lose a little bit the inspiration. I mean, I I was enjoying it and it and, and it made me feel proud of what we were uh, accomplishing uh, doing it all by hand because because you know a lot of people will, will want to do all that type of work and I was like you know I I, I want to be different I want but now with the dirt printer is it's such such a good tool so we can continue doing this so okay so right here we are going uh, I'm going back and forth and looking uh, at the measurements and how I designed one side so I can duplicate it on the other side and I grab one of the fountains that that I had already placed on the two squares in the front so I can bring them over here and and I grab the other one and then at some point I gotta go back to the front and and make another one and that part we're gonna go ahead and cut it out and and fast forward so we can so so you guys don't have to see all the crafting and because if it, this video came out a little longer I was so excited building this and the ideas were coming that I filmed a lot longer so the video came out a little over a little over 30 minutes I, I tried to keep the videos between um, you know the 15 20 max 25 because I know they're long and uh, a, a, lot, a lot of people don't like long videos and you know, they, they just want to get to the point but on this one I honestly lost track of time I was having such a good time uh, trying things, um, laying things out, seeing how everything looked. That next thing I knew, I was like, "Hey, I need to go to the next day so we can continue building." So right here, I'm trying out the hedges, maybe kind of like making a fence around the museum, see how that looks. And it was taking too much space. Uh, didn't like it as much. So I was like, okay, well, let me take out the iron fence and just leave the hedges. And looking at it right now, it doesn't look bad. I'm still not in love with it. Uh, so we went ahead and take it out. I, I like it because it breaks breaks the cement. It, it just, it, it gives you a little more green against the, the gray. So here we, we, we went back to the next day. The museum's gone. Finally, now because we removed it, and I was able to finish filling up the the platform on the top, and the dirt printers are charged. So here we go again. Now we're gonna keep duplicating what we got on the left. Dupli duplicate it. Uh, no, what we got on the right. We're gonna duplicate it on the left. And the fountains are looking great. And and once we can really complete this section right here, and then I step back. I'm like, man, this this is actually coming out a lot better than even my eye expected it. Uh, and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying it, that you guys are liking the layout. And if you guys do something different to improve it, uh, something that I didn't think about uh, that will make this museum stand out, uh, let me know. I've I finally made a Twitter Twitter account, so it's. Uh, at Jersey Games in Twitter and if you guys want to share your designs uh, pictures into that account go ahead and do it uh, so I can see it and see how you guys are making your designs and what have you guys have improved on my ideas because if you guys do something amazing and I, I want to see it I want to try to uh, duplicate it as well if especially if it's something that I, I it's gonna make the museum look even better or even other parts of the islands uh dinkum is big and like i said in my previous video dinkum is such a big island that's something that i'm trying to do now is to use to use the space you know i i'm a fan of animal crossing and you know we play animal crossing for so long but to make animal crossing worth it for me you had to make so many tiny sections so you can have more in the island because that's something that you you know you you want to have this area and you want to have another area and then another area so i got used to creating tiny areas and that's why the first couple builds that i did they're kind of tiny it's just oh here's john and 
a little space on the side and that was it and then you got the next building and as I kept working on the island and we keep spreading it I realized I got a lot of space why am I trying to make things so so small yeah small is nice takes less time and uh, but for me once I started going bigger I I started to enjoy it and then I I'm feeling like I'm using the map I feel like I'm using different areas and then when you're walking and, and just have more nature in between things and I've been enjoying it I've been enjoying it is it, it takes more time to build something but for me it just it's great uh, that that's all to it it's just I'm enjoying the game so much to making this type of areas that are more full more more better that it's just a more enjoyable process okay so here we are we are finishing slowly fin uh, filling up the left side exactly to to what we have on the right side uh, the same amount of tiles at least for now I don't know exactly yet what I'm gonna do past that left side uh, I don't know what I'm gonna connect I may make more maybe make a tree line or make a like a I truly don't know I I, I don't know yet exactly what we want to do there just yet uh, all I know for now I want to close it out exactly what we have on the left side so we can just keep working on the museum So here I started having a an idea again. I was like, okay, I kind of want to put something at least on the bottom. I didn't like the hedges. I didn't like the iron fence. And I have all of these um, brick flower boxes that I know I wanted to use. That I was like, okay, I made them so I can use them in the museum. And but I've been changing my mind in different layouts. So now what my original idea, I'm not gonna use it for. And I was like, I got all of this and I need to use them. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I didn't like them when they were all just in the same level. So I was like, okay, so what about if I go from, from one tier to the other and then lower it and that way you see the flower box and you still see some of the cement on the top and of course, once you plant your flowers or your bush, whatever you want to put in the flower boxes, then it will blend with the cement. Uh, and then the front section, we, what, what we're going to do is do bury them. So, so every, so, so what you see, oh, okay. So I see cement and then cement coming down and you still see cement. So it's like, okay, so, so that, that might work and that might, may look good. And so as, as I started setting it up, I did like the idea. I was like, okay, this looks good. So I want to then extend the brick path. Uh, sorry, the cement path, the sidewalk on the side. And what, and what that's going to make is the little patio sections on that, on that side of the building is going to make them, uh, the square smaller and that's something. And then we'll refix that once we get to that part of the video. But I did realize that at some point uh, I am changing the flower boxes still on the side instead of being buried they're gonna be also just ground level and just only the flower boxes on the front of the museum they're gonna be buried and I think that's how at the end of the video they kind of look and that's where I'm gonna end up right now so here we're making the final uh, uh, stretch because um, we made it to where it's equal to the other side equal to the right side so the left side so now we got the same amount of tile and the same amount of space we got the the two uh, brick patio square here I'm counting and I noticed that I did, did a mistake I was like I don't have okay so you got the light post and you got the bush you're supposed to have a space, have the tree, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. It's not equal. I, I originally planted the tree one more farther away, more than what it should have been. So here we are. We are uh, 
<laughs> it's like you you have to like double triple quadruple check yourself because you know you, you don't want to keep make keep messing up and, and before you do something you want to do it because it it's, it's not easy to come coming by by materials every time you you need some and you just don't I I never want to waste material and every time I do a mistake you're like oh and now I gotta go back out there and get more materials okay so I'm still working uh, doing the final uh, filling up on the on this side of the museum that is still there's still a lot more to do on that side so uh, I think we're gonna start working that once we go to the next day here we having another one more view and everything's looking good it's like I still here for a moment it's like wow I it's coming out truly a lot better than I, I expected it, it was gonna be coming out. I, at first I was like, oh man, I don't know if this is gonna work out. Do I have enough space? Do Can I make it? Can I make what I'm envisioning happen? And and of course, I mean, you, you've seen it. You have to try and error, try and error, and, and keep working at it and, and, and to make it happen. And I could have got to the point that when I stand on the back and look at it, I'll be like, Oh no, it has to be too more wide or, or no, I had to lower this tier and, and like, and like we talked in previous video, it's all about feeling for me is I stand and I look at it and okay, this looks good. No, that doesn't look good. And, and I know that when you guys are watching this video, you could be like, man, that looked really good. Why did he change it? And, and that's when it, it's all taste. It's all preference and and all these videos are for for you guys to be inspired to create something better better than I did you know I'm, I'm hoping that when you guys are making your your islands your videos and and you know and just and just having fun in your game you guys are so inspired that you are making something so much better than, than what I did you know and and things that I, I didn't even thought about you guys are just making it happen and then, and then tag me on it. Uh, you know, s send me those pictures. I want, I want to see them. You know, because I want to be inspired too. You know, I, I do watch a lot of creators uh, playing Animal Crossing, playing uh, Disney Dream Valley, uh, playing Dinkum. You know, playing uh, more games that are based on designing and decorating. I, I like a lot of games. I like, uh, but right now, you know, I like the design aspect and. Right now, Dinkum is giving me that freedom to do that, to design, not just to play the farming part, not just to talk to the villagers, and 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 that's great, uh, and and I enjoy doing that. But truly, the one thing that I I love about playing Dinkum is the design. I I like the freedom that I have uh, to to do, to build, to to make things happen, and. And that's what I'm enjoying a lot. Okay, so back here. So we're in the back of the museum right now. And I was like, oh, well, let me make, let me fill up this and this back end of the wall. That way, that way, when you're looking in the museum from the front, in between, in between the wall and the museum, there's just a tiny gap, right? And you can kind of see a little bit through it. So that was kind of bothering me. But then I was like, man, I don't kind of want to cover the whole museum in the back either. Because I kind of like how from the riverbank and you look, you can see the back of the museum. So I kind of, okay, I want to leave the back of the museum open. So I want to see how that looks. So so here we are. Um, I'm trying to make things even. We're going to make a like a tiny little dirt wall on the back. And my idea is to plant two pine trees. Now, I don't know if it's going to work exactly the way I envision, but I'm hoping that the pine trees will grow, right? And the branches are gonna spread out to the side. And when you look from the front to the museum, it's gonna kinda hide that little gap. And if I don't like it, once the, the pine trees grow and they don't look good and they don't work out, then what I do is cut them down, maybe just make one more column, still see the back of the museum, make a column and leave it as that. So, and all that, like I always say, is trial and error. Sometimes you gotta do it, spend the time, and then you're like, 
half an hour later i don't like it and take it down and and don't feel bad and look at these guys is the museum's looking good is it's looking more together it looks more presentable i think it, it's looking more like wow like when, when you're walking into this area i want it to feel like you know when you go to the museums you know when when, when you arrive in and, and you're walking towards the museum and you, and you see this big plaza and you see the building and and all that. So um, I do have a couple of the statues that I'm also the Ababa, uh, a couple more of the kangaroo. And I got, uh, I forgot what they call the other um, animal. I went blank here for a moment, uh, but I got the other one. So I'm gonna see which one looks better and which one uh, I will enjoy having in, in, in the museum or in the plaza or in, or in different area. So so right now we're still the layout, right? We're, we're still making the path, make, uh, putting the the tiles, we're, we're, we're putting the cement path. We're, we're trying to figure out where we're gonna be putting the main trees. As you guys see, I put two pine trees on one side. I know I wanna do that on the other side. Um, and and that's what we're gonna be working on because I'm pretty sure part three of the museum build is gonna be decorating. We still need to put the benches. We still need to put the right lighting. We still need to put the, some of the statues. We still wanna see how, what type of decorations we wanna put in the museum uh, build. But I don't want it right now, when every time I look at a, a museum reference picture, they're not overblown with decorations, right? In real life, they don't. I mean, they may have a banner, they may have this, they may have a statue, they may, they, they got things like that. But it's not fully, fully. Uh, some of them got a little garden in in the side or in the front, and that's why we got the flower boxes, right? So that's gonna bring the greenery or the color uh, that we want. I don't know if I want to go full blown color. I don't know if I just want to go all green. Most of the museum builds that I see in real life, in pictures, is all green, right? Like just green grass, green trees, uh, uh, green bushes, just uh, green all, all the way around. And then in some specific area, they might have like a, like a little garden. So I don't know which route I'm going to go with our museum. Uh, and But all that will be part three, because I know once we finish this video, we, didn't, we never got to that. We, we just kept working on what we're working right now. That is the layout. And, but yeah, uh, I'm excited. I, I, I think it's, it's, it came out better than I expected. It really pumped me up. I'm like, okay, this is the best build that we've done so far on this island. It's just, and I'm so happy because I, I think the museum is, is such an important tool uh, uh, that, that we have on the island that we can make a really big build because this is the museum this is the museum area and and that's what i felt i felt like here i could go big and it started like that the idea was the mining area and that slowly changed to the museum and then by looking at reference picture i was like oh wow museum areas are usually very big very inviting very very cool so yeah so so here we are we are we are doing the final walkthrough. We are we are looking at it one more time from this angle, uh, seeing how everything feels. It still kind of looks empty because we haven't done the final decorating, but that's gonna be part three, and that's coming up very very soon. Thank you for watching. Hit a like, subscribe to see more videos, and we'll see you next time on part three of the museum build. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.